We made it! This is crazy! This looks like Jurassic Park. I've never seen a waterfall like this. Guys, there are few things harder to shoot than waterfalls. The mist is everywhere. And it just keeps getting on the lens. Luckily, I have a little towel so I can keep you dry. This is why I recently moved to Bali. It wasn't just to stay in Bali 24 seven. Yeah, it's a great place to live, but it's what surrounds Bali that's so incredible. I mean, Java is massive. Right now, we have seen a fraction of a fraction of the things it has to offer. And that's a cool thing is like, I could spend a full month here, two months here, and probably just start to scratch the surface on what it has to offer. And few people are going out here and discovering this side of Indonesia. So that's my goal for the year is to see different sides. It won't just be Java, it'll be places like Raja Ampat. And I would love to go back to Flores and do the Komodo Island and all that stuff again. It was so much fun. If you guys want to work from an office anywhere in the world, have this as your view? Well, buy my course. It's just five easy payments of $12.99 and I'll teach you how you can have this office, how you can have this view. It could be yours. With that, I just made a million dollars. Sorry, my accountant just called. <laughs> This has become my number one most beautiful waterfall that I have ever seen in my entire life. And I don't know what's gonna beat it, but it keeps happening. So I'm gonna keep looking for that thing out there that's bigger, that's better, but there's just something so majestic about this area. Basically, we started at the very top of the cliff. We had to take a sketchy staircase down all the way to the bottom. From there, we came through this ravine, and in here, it's like this peaceful little paradise and you're just surrounded by this U-shaped waterfall. Like up here, it's actually really dry. If you do come here, I recommend bringing your bags to the top. It's a little bit wetter down there because all the mist kind of funnels through there. But overall, this is like so worth the extra trip to come and get here. I gotta say, this is just getting me started on my explorations in Java. I wanna see so much more of this place. As you can see, it has a lot to offer. Do you any more? I don't think I could. Actually, no, I could. <laughs> and I will. I need to go shoot more at the top. I gotta go get a drone shot. Yes, we, we have to. Shoot at the I top agree with that. Too. Okay, we're gonna get more photos. <laughs> it's a fact. We're about halfway done. I we're brought halfway. a second outfit, so oh, I came prepared. Smart. I've got underwear on, so I'm gonna do a skibby shot. Are... Sorry, I gotta wipe you off. So apparently, no more than 100 meters away, there is a cave by the name of Goa Tetez. It's incredible, like this landscape is so diverse, so wild, and basically untouched by most travelers. Today's video is just about getting out of Bali, being willing to try new things, explore off the beaten path, and yes, we did have to go through hours upon hours of being in a bumpy car, of being on a ferry that could catch on fire and flip at any moment's time, but if you're willing to risk it for the biscuit, well, the biscuit is right here. It is this incredible landscape. Now I will say though, you can find these beautiful places that are untouched in Bali. Now not many people know about them, but I've traveled to Bali many times now. If you want to find out all about that, you can check out my free guide down below. Right over there, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that is Goetetes. I was not expecting this. So Craig here just went up and what, it's like a sketchy hike? Dude, it's really sketchy. <laughs> Rubber, yeah, you have to drag yourself up in points. And, but uh, we can do it. It's doable. Yeah. Everything's doable. Everything's doable if you believe in yourself. This is definitely like a massive shock. We just went from one waterfall to the next, and this one's like completely different. It's got a red color to it. It's way more jagged, and it's, it's just completely different. But it's only like 100 meters away. We're gonna have to climb up. Up there. So you've been living in Indonesia for nine years now? Yeah, nine years now. Wow. And you've learned the language? Yep. And different dialects on different islands as well. Wow. I'm gonna try to learn at least one, but I'm gonna go with Bahasa, I think, because Bahasa is the language that's spoken across the entire country. It's a unifying language. It brings yeah. all the Indonesian people together. So I think I should probably prioritize that one first. It is the fountain of youth. If you dip your head below, you will stay. How old are you? 17. 17 now, oh wow. <laughs> so Luke and I just slid down that slide and now I have a massive cut on my ass. 
it hurts so much. One of the rocks was like sticking out of the slide, which is not really a slide, it's a fall. But uh, the footage was cool. Look at the water though, there's even like a bit of a light blue that comes out in it. It's so beautiful. right there another incredible thing that we did today but we have to go all the way up this hill now to try and attempt getting to the cave but as uh, Craig was saying earlier it's not exactly easy to get up there I'm currently carrying at least 30 40 pounds of camera gear and my shoes keep slipping out anywhere I go so getting up will be very fun so I actually just met Luke probably like two days ago through Cam and Kelsey and you guys met through what Instagram yeah we met through Instagram about six months ago I'd say Crazy, and so this is, but you just met them in person for the first time? Yeah, just a couple days ago. Awesome, and so one of the cool things was, the first thing Luke says to me when he meets me is basically, I have the exact same camera bag and setup as you. And so he's got the Manfrotto D1, he's got the Ronin, and he's got it attached the same way. He watched one of the videos I did a while ago, and that's actually how he took some of the inspiration to get his travel gear all set up. Yeah, so when I was planning my trip for Bali, like six months ago, I was sitting in school and I was like, I want to leave, I want to leave. I was Googling stuff about Bali and, and coming and traveling full time. And uh, Christian's videos were some of the first videos that I saw. And I was like, whoa, like, this guy's like really living it. And I was like, yeah. So that's where I got the gear inspiration from. Got at Lost LeBlanc. Yeah, it inspired me to come to Bali. It inspired me to leave school and just kind of like go and adventure and see the world. That's dope, man. And now we're here. Now we're here. Now we have to climb up. It's a ridiculous staircase. How is today real? Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> Look, there is the Bat Cave. Batman lives up there. We're literally like scaling the side of this waterfall cliff. <laughs> like, like, there's not even <laughs> steps like the normal waterfalls. Like the normal, like it's kind of like on some spots there's a little bit of a rope. Other than that. Is this a theme park? <laughs> is this where you tell us it was designed by like Walt Disney? <laughs> This doesn't make sense, dude. This is the sketchiest hike I've ever done with my camera gear. We are literally scaling up a waterfall. One hand is holding the camera, the other hand is like holding on to whatever I can on the cliff. And of course getting my footing is the most important thing here. But it's slippery. We've probably got another hour and a half till it gets dark, so we gotta keep moving. Stay in the lab. We made it! This is the cave. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, we have made it to the top. I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited we made it, but I'm also scared because we have to go back down that waterfall and things were already a bit difficult climbing. Going down is always harder. Ugh, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm really, I'm a little bit nervous. I hope like everyone gets down okay. No broken camera gear, no nothing, but uh, it's, a, it's a journey to get up here. I wouldn't have any problem doing this if I had no equipment, but the equipment is making all the difference. And we only have about an hour worth of sunlight left, so we really need to basically get our photo here and leave. That is so sketchy. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing this, like freehanding the camera. Whoa! Almost fell. <laughs> we will never get to know what was inside the cave, but honestly, the sun has basically just gone behind the clouds now. We don't have time to wait around and find out. We gotta go. It's a miracle. See you later. Oh. <sighs> You guys are pretty shy as soon as the camera's on. I don't know how this day could possibly be topped, other than food, because I haven't eaten today. 
but that drone flight was my best ever. At least right on screen it was. I was flying above the waterfall and I went into the clouds. You could no longer see the waterfall. And then the clouds would blow away, reveal themselves. It was like too good to be true. This whole day has been unbelievable. You gotta get off the beaten path and explore these new things. Meet new people. <laughs> But if you are going to Bali, I've got a full guide for you. Link is down below. Just destroyed some mee goreng. So good. I don't think there's any I am. No chicken on this one, but just straight fried noodles and deliciousness and an egg. I'm gonna get a Nescafe. Today's video sponsor is Nescafe. One coffee, one pakari, a mee goreng, and an egg. In total, that cost me 17,000 Indonesian rupiah, or in US dollars, like $1.25. At its finest. We should move out here. Like, honestly, run did. our businesses from here. As I was earlier today, on a rock in front of a waterfall, enjoying my beautiful office view. Yeah. If you want to learn how to do that, just swipe up on this YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> so we just went for Pizza Hut, like basically the safest bet. And all the food was like kind of questionable, like the strawberry milkshake looked like it was Pepto-Bismol. The pizza tasted a bit like a wet cardboard, but you know, for the most part it was edible. But by the end of it, Luke, Luke had ordered way more than any of us. He was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna eat it all. He eats like half his pizza, he eats like a BLT like steak thing. And by the end of the meal, he was like, my stomach feels upset. And we're like, yeah, okay, okay, whatever. And then right as we're about to leave, he just disappeared. So we're starting to think that this strawberry milkshake poisoned him. He might need another Pepto-Bismol shake. Yeah. Who orders a Philly cheesesteak in Java? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what he got. asking for it. <laughs> Anyways, today's video is sponsored by Pizza Hut. Uh, whenever you gotta get your bowels moving, come on down to Pizza Hut. Yeah! Pizza Hut! He's alive! No. So, what do you think, guys? Sweet you strawberry milkshakes for the road. Oh, <laughs> you got belly belly. <laughs> you, got, you got pizza belly. From Pizza Hut. Guys, we just made it back. It's 2 in the morning. Oh, we left at 3 in the morning, or 3.30. Just shy of a 24 hour trip. The biggest shout out goes to Hero. Hero, where is he at? Hero. He's yes. asleep. <laughs> Our driver's asleep. <laughs> I can be your hero, babe. He got us here safely, and uh, that's all that matters. It was an incredible day trip. One of my best. I think that was probably going in the top three. Well, guys, I think the biggest takeaway from today's video is just to get out there, get lost, be willing to leave the tourist attractions, and these are the things that you can find. If you've ever considered getting into travel vlogging or you just want to put together a memorable travel video from your vacation, I have just released my first ever complete in-depth video editing course. It gives away all my strategies, my secrets, secrets, the secret sauce that makes this production possible. The course is literally six hours of me editing one single vlog. It's a screen recording that shows you every single step of the way. So if you want to learn how this happens right here, check out the link down below and I've actually got an exclusive discount code just for you. So guys, I will see you in the full course. A big thank you for being part of the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already part of it. And guys, let's get lost again in the next one.